Hey YouTube, it's Charisma. This is going to be another fashion DIY. I wanted to make these lace pants that flare out at the bottom and I saw them in Forever 21 since last summer and never got a chance to make them. Then I was like, I'm going to buy them. Then I'm like, no, I can make them. So I have the fabric. I was going through my fabric. I found it and I'm like, okay, I have some time today. I'm chilling at home. Let me make these pants. So you're going to come right along with me and I don't have a tutorial on these in terms of me learning how. I'm figuring this out myself and you're gonna learn right along with me. So come along. Okay guys, so I have two pairs of leggings on the floor. One is for a demonstration purpose and the other one I'm gonna be using for my pattern. So this one right here is for demonstration. Now you're gonna get an old pair of leggings that you have that you don't care anything about and um, that you can cut and you are just going to cut along all around that inside crotch part. All around like that. So now, when you're done doing that, oh, let me not remove it. When you're finished cutting from that, you're gonna take it and like, um, you see the seam here in the middle? You're just gonna turn it to the side, like sideways when you're finished cutting it open. Okay guys, so after you cut it, and then you turn it sideways and lay it flat, your leggings are gonna look like this just like that and as you can see like this part right here that's the shorter part so that's the front and that longer part that's gonna be the butt area okay so you have that much that you can see so now I also have um, tutorials on leggings so you will have to scroll this is my main channel so I have a variation of fashion tutorials as well as hair as well as health as well as performance so there's a lot of videos you'll have to scroll through but I also have a fashion channel this charisma for you fashion where it's just fashion videos and you can scroll through those videos and find the tutorials just on fashion and I'm pretty sure I have one up on how to make leggings I have two different ways so scroll through that but this is the one that we're going to use for this tutorial you're gonna need about a yard and a half of fabric because I had two yards and I had to cut some off and um, so that's what you will need for this tutorial. Okay guys, so you're gonna place your legging pattern in the middle of your fabric. I'm leaving room at the top because I want them high waisted. I'm also leaving room at the bottom because I don't know how long I want them to be but I'd rather have more fabric than I need so that I can always cut down. You're going to cut about a half an uh, if you're using an overlock machine, half an inch for seam allowance. If you're using a regular machine, about an inch for seam allowance. You always want to start off a little big just in case you can always cut down. So I'm going to cut to start from that top part all the way down to that little hook right there and the same on the other side and I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, so you see that I cut up to that point. So now you're gonna keep cutting down. What you're gonna do is from that crotch area, cut down about five, six inches before you begin to flare it out. See, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut from here where you see my finger pointing about five to six inches down, I'm gonna stop. And then from that point, I'm gonna start flaring out the cut all the way to the end of the fabric so that I could have that flare. I'm gonna do that on both sides and I'll come back and show you. Okay guys, so this is what it's gonna look like after you cut it, going, five, going down five inches and then flaring out. Mine doesn't look perfect, but um, you know, I'm learning as I go along, so when I finish sewing it, then I'll see what adjustments need to be made. So up to this point, what you're gonna do is from that top part to the crotch area, you can place pins on both sides. From the top to that crotch, place pins. Wherever you place those pins, you're gonna take it to your sewing machine and you're gonna sew, sew all the way from the top to the crotch area stop and then I'll come back and show okay, you. Okay guys, so I'm done sewing from the top to the crotch. So you take the pants and you're gonna open them now and lay them flat. Like put the seam in the middle cause that's how you're gonna see the pants. Hold this on a sec, let me do it. Okay guys, so you see how you, after you sew it, now you lay it flat like with the seams in the middle both front and back seams in the middle and then you now see that it's a pair of pants and I do see where I messed up a little bit but all I have to do is just adjust and cut these areas 
when I'm done. So what you're gonna do now is take it to your sewing machine and you're just gonna sew that inside part, the inseam, I think that's what it's called, all the way around. After that, all you have to do is hem the bottom and add elastic to your top. And then because this is, um, the lace is see-through, you may wanna add, like, a, make a pair of shorts to put under. Okay guys, so I'm done with sewing and what I did was I tried them on and they actually do fit. They're a little bit snug. I may not have to make another pair, thank goodness, but it's okay. Um, I'm gonna, um, when I finish it, see if I do want to make another pair. Um, when I tried them on, I cut off some at the bottom and um, yeah, so you definitely want to work with more fabric and then have to cut some down just to have them more custom fit. So now, I, because these are lace and they're see-through, I don't want to wear them with my skin showing on the top part. So I need to figure out a way to make a lining, which is probably the same way, and then just cut it. So I'm going to go get me some span, a, a, like a pink spandex as a lining to put under. And um, I'm gonna figure it out how to do it and then come back and then show you. Okay guys, I'm gonna do the shorts the same way I did the pants and I have the same pattern that I laid down except I'm just gonna cut it shorter. So that's what I'm gonna do. So follow the same direction as you did for your pants for your shorts. And okay guys, so after you um, do your lining, which is basically the shorts, you're gonna put it inside. You're gonna place your pants inside of it and you're gonna wanna make sure that you line up the crotch of your short with the crotch of your lace. And then you're just gonna stitch along that line in the crotch. You'll be able to see when you do it. And so once you're done with that, you can add the elastic to the top and hem your bottom. Step, step, two.